Six is Q by Aspire. Now, if you know me and the channel and my pod preferences, I love pod systems that have adjustable airflow, I have replaceable coils, are refillable, and obviously nowadays we're looking for a quick charge apparently. So this Flexus Q has pretty much everything I like from a pod system. How does it perform? Let's check it out. One of the main selling features of the Flexus Q is the actual charge rate. This is capable of a 15 watt, three amp charge. And Aspire saying that you can charge this from zero to 80% in 10 minutes. Now that's about right. Now it does take a little bit longer to creep up to that full 100%. However, this is still a really quick charging device. It also has a 700 milliamp hour battery inside, which is more than enough for this style, this size of pod system. But yeah, the charge rate is really, really quick. So they've done a good job there. I think overall, it takes about 20, 25 minutes to charge all the way to maximum. I haven't counted it, but definitely from zero to 80%, yeah, it's about 10 minutes, which is very, very good. Of course, at the side here, you've got a little adjustable airflow slider, which does make a difference to the actual restriction of the airflow. And at the front here, you've got a fire button. Now, this is automatic draw as well, but there is a fire button. There's a little LED indicator, so you can fire it like that, or you can draw and it will it will vape automatically like that. Now, press this button three times and you can change the power output. It's red, blue, and green, with green being the most high output this device is capable of. Apart from that, the device is very simple, sleek. It feels solid in the hand. Uh, it, the back has got this nice kind of carbon effect to it, and there's obviously loads of different colors available. Now, the pod is a two mil capacity. It is refillable, thanks to the refillable port <laughs> in there. Uh, it is quite a small port. You obviously want to be using kind of small 10 mil bottles, Nick salt bottles, those kind of things fit in there, no problem. Haven't had any air locks on it as well. There was just enough space either side of the AF coils for your liquid to flow down. I haven't really had many problems. You do want to take your time a little bit, but yeah, the liquid flows from the top down to the bottom without catching on the coil. These obviously take the AF cores, which cores are replaceable. You have the AF uh, 0.6 ohm and also a 1 ohm coil available. Both very similar wattages. Of course, the 0.6 ohm coil will need a little bit more wattage, but the device automatically detects that. So I think we should try this one out. I've got the 0.60 mesh AF coil installed. Now, the actual ratings of it are between 15 and 18 watts. I have this on the blue setting, which is between 15 and 18 watts, say 16 and a half watts. I've got the airflow at its most restrictive. Let's give it a little bash. A really nice, not super tight, but a nice, tight, smooth draw and very good flavor. Really, really good fl flavor from this 0.6 ohm coil. But I do like the restriction. It's, it's, it's smooth, but it, it makes you pull for it. Now, just for fun, I'm gonna open that airflow all the way up to its maximum. And I'm going to scroll this through one, two, three. That's red. One, two, three. One, two, three. Into the green setting, which is like that. Full power, airflow open. I'm going to try and give it a bit of a restrictive direct lung vape. Surprisingly, it can manage quite comfortably a restrictive direct lung. I do notice so drawing a little bit of air through the sides of my mouth. But it performs well. The automatic switch still works really, really well. You get a surprising little cloud from this tiny little 0.6 ohm coil and decent flavor still. So yeah, if you do like a restrictive diet lung vape, you can still get away with it with this little coil. Should you try the one ohm? Let's give it a go. The one ohm AF coil is rated between 12 and 15 watts. I have it on the blue setting of the airflow all the way closed off. Let's give it a little bash. Definitely more restrictive than the 0.6 ohm when it's all the way closed off as well. For me, I like to have this just a little bit open, just a tiny amount, almost like a, I don't know, two millimeters open. It's literally that amount. Keep it on that blue setting. Let's give that a little bash. Very nice restriction, nice and smooth. This is a very quiet pod system, really, really quiet. The flavor is good from the one ohm. I do prefer the 0.6, but you still get very good flavor. And of course, with that higher resistance core, you're using less power, so you are preserving battery life. But generally, battery life is not really an issue with this. Generally, both cores perform really well. Nice flavor, real nice, smooth, comfortable, chilled out drawer. And I'm, I'm quite impressed with both coils. So my final thoughts of the Flexus Q kit by Aspire. Well, this for pod systems, this has got everything I could possibly want from a simple pod system that I can carry around. It's high quality. It's Aspire quality like you'd expect. It's not 
it's not the most fancy. It doesn't look like anything spectacular, but it does the job. And it does every job very, very well. The airflow to start with, adjusting that airflow does make a difference to the vape experience, to that restriction. I think it's impressive that you can get a restrictive direct lung vape from the 0.6 ohm coil. Both coils perform perfectly. The pod's not too dark that you can't tell where you're e-liquid at. You can replace the coils. You can refill it. It charges super fast. This is about as good as it gets when it comes to pod systems. If you want a pod system where perhaps you've maybe started on disposables and now you're ready for a step up, this is one of the best options, definitely. Just for everything it has. Might take a little bit of time to get used to the fact that you've got power adjustments. You might need to fiddle around with that and the airflow, but it does all the things and it does all the things very well. So I hope that's helpful, folks. If it was, hit the like button or subscribe if you fancy it. Of course, you can see my latest review up there. A random one down the bottom there, and a massive thanks to UK Aspire for over four of you. I'm Flag of Vapor. Thanks for watching.